Moreno. A lovely coast, post-COVID greeting to you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to make horse sounds exactly. to that one. Exactly. So, so just bring me up to speed. The 20th anniversary of Fur Patrol was when? Was it last year? No. <laughs> it was two years ago. So two years ago. Yeah. And yeah. so you wanted to do something with it. Yeah, well, we released a uh, an anniversary, 20th anniversary reissue on vinyl. Yes. Um, which is really beautiful. Um, and we were hoping, the plan was to tour it, you know. And why didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> Gee, I wonder. Exactly. Um, yeah, so that, that came out, um, was supposed to come out at the end of 2020. <laughs> yeah. Good with dates. Um, and then uh, the... Production got held up because of COVID and snowstorm. No, snowstorms in Texas as well. Various things. Um, and then, uh, so that came out in April and we were going to tour it in 2021 and that got pushed Jeez. back and then it got pushed into the start of 2022. What a frustration. And so, yeah, this is the re, re, reschedule. Fantastic. So, yeah. Obviously, I can't let the comment pass. What were the storms in Texas about? <laughs> Remember there were those massive snowstorms yes. in Texas and the whole state got yeah, shut no, down? Yeah, no, I remember that as a meteorological event. Yeah. I just don't know what it has to do with you. Well, for some reason, the um, well, because we had it pressed at Holiday Records here in Auckland. Right. who were fantastic and they did a beautiful job. But um, I don't know if they still do, but they were getting the, you know, the centre labels for the yeah. vinyl pressed. They are made in Texas. They were getting made in Texas. No way. Yeah. Who would have known? And so it? there were power cuts and delivery issues and... Was that yeah. one of those moments when you're sitting there going, oh, geez, it doesn't pour, but it rains or whatever? Oh, the same. I mean, you know, it was just like the gods of random inconvenience really having a great joke at our expense. So. The, 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 <laughs> we the, had to laugh at that point. The vinyl thing, see, I'm, I, I, I don't want to sound old, even though I am. Uh, I remember, <laughs> I, 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 it's too much laughter. Uh, this, <laughs> it's because I'm here, I'm not far behind you. <laughs> so the vinyl thing's such a lovely thing. It is. But as, as a, as, is it more a marketing exercise? or a general, genuine sales exercise given how many people have got a turntable? It is genuine sales. And you, you would be, uh, vinyls make a really big comeback over oh. the last few years. I think with, um, you know, CDs kind of came and went. They've yeah. never been that nice as a package. And then with, I guess, with the advent of streaming and everything being digitized, you don't have a thing anymore. And people really enjoy that, you know, that physical object. Because it, the art, you know, artwork is artwork. Um, Couldn't agree vinyl more. cover, um, and also the sound of a record is so much nicer than um, you know your crappy uh. streaming. Because I don't think I've ever asked an artist this, but it, it fascinates me. Do you bo does it bother you in terms of sound? Because when CDs came along, everyone got gripped by the concept of how much superior the sound was, how pure mm. the sound was. Now we're all into streaming. No one seems to talk about the sound anymore. Do you, yeah, that's because the marketing people don't want you to talk is about that, is the sound. <laughs> <laughs> do you sound personally as an artist, do you sound good streamed as opposed to a vinyl, as no. opposed to a CD? No, you, no, 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 no. Most, like, most of those streaming services, they just provide you with really – um, compressed files, so it takes all the detail and the highs and lows and the war, you know out yeah. of the out of the thing, which is fine if you're you know on the move. But if you really want to enjoy the sound of something, and you know artists and musicians and producers put so much time and love into creating these things for you to listen to. So it's kind of heartbreaking when you know that everyone's exactly. just listening to to your music on you know either as an MP3. Or even, you know, played back through an iPhone speaker. But, I mean, this is me, full confession, I do the same thing. So Well, of course you do. <laughs> Everyone does. Where's Fur Patrol at? Where has it been at is in, in its official capacity? Has it been a thing for all of these years or you got back together or...? Um, it's we never, we never called it quits on Fur Patrol as an entity because, you know, it's kind of like Farno. You know, we've been, we were to get, you know, toured and relentlessly for... 13 odd years and then um just i guess took a hiatus but it was more like a never say never kind of sure. deal and um uh there have been some very excited you know messages and emails and zoom calls back and forth across the tasman and when we came uh bringing steve into that because steve our old guitarist lives in paris oh nice yeah so unfortunately he won't be joining us for the tour but um he kind of he kind of quit the band 
yeah. before that anyway. Yeah, so. exactly, exactly. He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't but it would count. be great if we can have him back at some stage for a like a actual genuine reunion. Does it? So cool. this this tour you're doing. And getting on the road, do, do you click back together immediately? Is it just like, you know, you've been there, so there it is? Or do we need a bit of a warm-up? Well, the last time we played together was in 2016. And honestly, it was just like, it's like falling off a bike. Simple as that? Yeah. That's amazing, yeah. eh? Just the muscle memory is so intense, although it might be a little bit different now, um, especially uh, Simon, our drummer, has been you know spent so much time in lockdown and oh. Melbourne hasn't been and he has a three-year-old so he hasn't been oh. able to play as much so oh, geez. but that's <laughs> like, where do you reckon the band sits in, in in the annals of New Zealand history and its contribution to music and that you can put come back together after 20-ish years and go here we are and you know people want that it must have made an impression mustn't it yes I don't know I don't, I'm not sure what that impression was um <laughs> Uh, I think people definitely fell in love with, with Lydia. I think there were, at the time there was a real push from uh, people within the, you know, within radio and the industry to get New Zealand music. It was sort of early, early-ish days of NZ On You, sort yeah. of uh, late 90s. Yeah. Um, we had Channel Z, really That's strong right. B-Net uh, mm. station, the B-Net stations network, I can't find words, um, mm. were really strong. Um, uh, I don't know, and all the TV, music TV channels. Oh. Um, yeah, and I th I don't know, as a, you know, myself personally have found it really um, quite humbling and, and um, heartwarming to, f you know, find meeting all these young female musicians coming up and going, oh, you're the reason I learned to play guitar. Cool? Um, you know, Isn't you were wonderful? such an inspiration kind of thing. It's It's like... Awesome. <laughs> so, so, you're, so, so you're like an elder stateswoman of I, I New, guess Zealand, I am, New Zealand yeah. music, and well, you're an influencer <laughs> for, for, the, for, the, for the good. Yeah, yeah, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, of course you are. Now, what are you going to um, play for us after the break? Um, well, you know. Let me interrupt. When I asked you before we came to air, and I said, <laughs> and I said, and I said, what do you want? What are you going to play? You said, what would you like? Yeah. And that, to me, is a, is, is a mark of a great musician. Because many a musicians come through here and they've, you know, they've got a specific song and they've got it rehearsed and they've got hangers on. They've got all the people, you know, prepping. <laughs> the so any musician who can turn up, the only other one who's done that is um, Don McGlashan. Ah. And I sprung him and I said, uh, in my room. Oh, th th awesome. th th think Thinking you're... Such a great song. It's a brilliant song. And, and I thought, you won't know that off the... Everyone, he'll be expecting me to say Dominion Road. Yeah. So I said, in my room. And he said, no problem. And I went, you got it. And he just did it. Yeah. Bang, like that. <laughs> Could you do that? Oh, I couldn't play in my room. No, I don't want you to play in my room. <laughs> <laughs> but if it, could, could I spring? Could I spring any song on you? Almost. Good on you. Yeah. That's brilliant. I'm not going to because <laughs> you, you were nervous there for a minute. Weren't you? Uh, yeah, I was like, I haven't had a coffee <laughs> and I haven't warmed up. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. What you what you shall play for us after the break is, of course, is Lydia. <laughs> more in just a moment from Julia Deans. News Talk's big guest is Julia Dean. So you are on the road with the band. Uh, you've in got, August. In August, yep. so uh, we got build up. Are you doing the small halls, or did you do small I halls? I did or? the small halls with uh, Jamie McPhail's little beastie that tour. It's so beautiful. Um, I highly recommend uh, if you live in Hawke's Bay, yeah. keeping an eye on the smallhalls.co.nz website or his Facebook page. Um, get on his mailing list. Uh, little shows in community halls all throughout Hawke's Bay. I thought it was a brilliant idea. So great. Um, unfortunately, we were at, uh, is it Red Levels? The yeah, yeah. So we, everyone, we had to have spaced out and seated. Right. But it was still beautiful and yeah. kind of super, super intimate. How lovely. Um, yeah. Good on you. Right, now you, you, you are prepared for us. The mm. one, everyone <laughs> knows Lydia, don't they? Yeah, mostly. <laughs> I've been doing a bit of uh, mentoring and teaching lately, and some, you know, now we've got the the younger ones oh. coming through, and they're a little bit like, oh no, oh, <laughs> that no, was that's, great. That's... that's actually quite nice. <laughs> <laughs> Good on you. Right, hit it, hit it. Yeah. Am I surprised to see you here with Lydia? She is all so nice. And easier to love than I But no, I won't hold it against 
against her Now maybe Now maybe Don't you want me anymore Her arms go on Her legs are wide and so's her smile She'll take you on Well I would slap you down and hide But no Against her My maybe My maybe Don't you want me anymore My maybe So take the time to reel me in and wash me out, but treat her right. And no. Sin, diddly sational, <laughs> absolutely brilliant. Uh, good luck with thank the um, good luck with the album. Good luck with the tour thank and you, uh, getting you. out on the road. And lovely to see you again. Do you know it's been four years since you've been here? Oh God, that went fast. Didn't didn't it? I, well, I've been counting the days. Oh, can I just sneak in? You can do it cheekily. Anyway. One more thing. Yes. Um, also going to be involved. I'm also involved in the next uh, Come Together project, which mm-hmm. is a series of um, tours um, playing of. Uh, a mixture of people playing um, classic albums. So there's no been, you may have heard of that. Is that too good? He's not in this one, but yes, he has been involved in it in the past. They've done Elton John and yeah, Neil, yeah, 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 yeah. Neil Young. And this time um, I'm I'm on the team and we're do, along with Mel Parsons, Diane Swan, Lawton Cora and the Come Together Band and we are playing Rumours by Fleetwood Mac. How good is that? Yeah, I am so excited. So and, you should be. Yeah, and Nika Moa nearly hit me out of frustration that she wasn't involved in <laughs> Well, listen, good luck with it all and uh, lovely, you. lovely to catch up with you again. Thank you, Mike. The Mike Hosking Breakfast, 6 to 9 weekdays on News Talks FB.